Hello everyone and welcome to your 6th Adobe After Effects tutorial Object Properties and the Timeline Panel In this tutorial we will get to know about the object properties and the timeline panel on how they work and what do they consist of So let's start off by creating a new composition Let's click on here and select Tutorial 6 PAL DV 1050 by 576 10 seconds long background color black hit OK so here we have a new composition so if you look closely here this is called the CTI this is the current time indicator now this CTI tells us that on which point of time are we currently in our composition we will check out the object properties in this tutorial so to do that we need an object so I will quickly create a solid now how to create a solid you will get to know soon enough so let's create a dark blue solid and make comp size and hit OK so this is a solid created and let's check out its properties as soon as we created the solid a new layer was created so this deep blue solid one is a new layer and as I told you in the first tutorial this program is a layer based program so every media will occupy its own track and will be converted into layers so this is one layer in which deep blue solid is there when we click on this triangle of this layer we will see that this solid has transform properties let's quickly check it out anchor point position scale rotation and opacity first we will check the scale scale is the size of the object or size of the layer that is selected currently so this scale is basically this solids size So if I decrease the scale let's say to 50% then the solid just became half in order to change the value you can click and drag your mouse or you can just click once and then enter a number for exact value now coming on to the second thing the position this is the X position and this is the Y position of the solids center point as you can see this is the solid center point and when I put my mouse over here you can see the position is 525,288 so if I put my mouse in the center of this solid you will see my position over there in the info panel as 525,287 almost because my mouse is not pointed currently so the position if I change the position let's see the X position from 525 you will see the object will move in the X axis if I change the Y position, the object will move in the Y. Now here comes the rotation. When you click and drag, the object will rotate. As you can see. And the opacity determines how opaque the object is. These are the basic properties of any object or any layer that come up. I have done some random animations see size the position now if I have messed it up and if I want it to go back to its original shape and size I can just click reset over here and then it will reset it to its original shape size and opacity so guys that's it for this tutorial and thank you for watching.